In this video we're going to be looking at how we can rewrite trigonometric ratios um, as ratios of acute angles. So we're going to start off with sine 480 um, and we're going to try and write this as um, an acute angle. And I'm going to make use of a, an angle diagram for this. So if I've got four quadrants and I've got them labelled from zero round and zero is also going to be 360 and so on and so on um, I'm going to get repetitions of the values of um, various angles because sine, cosine, tangent are all waves now one thing we can do um, is to remember which quadrants uh, which of the ratios are positive and which are negative so between 0 and 90 degrees all three ratios are positive between 180 and 90 um, only sine is positive between 180 and 270 only tangent is positive and between 270 and 360 only cosine is positive and this helps us out because they just repeat as we go around so sine 480 well 360 degrees would be all the way around to here and then we need to go another 120 degrees so another 120 degrees means that we've now rotated a total of 480 degrees and the acute angle associated with that is this angle here which is 60 degrees because we always want to look at an acute angle that it makes with the horizontal using this diagram. So sine of 480 is equivalent to sine of 60. And let me just see if that is true when I do it on my calculator. So I'm just going to put it into radians mode. And then I'm going to see sine of 60 through 3 over 2 sine of 480 is also root 3 over 2 so they are equivalent and this is now um, there as a acute angle now I'm going to repeat, uh, repeat the same process for all the rest of these angles now but I'm going to move through it slightly quicker so I'm just going to do my rough diagram so cosine negative 170 so starting at 0 negative 170 is going to be over here somewhere which leaves this acute angle of 10 degrees so cosine negative 170 is equal to cosine of uh, 10 degrees but in this quadrant cosine is negative so it's negative cos 10 Now, for the next one, um, we're dealing in terms of radians. And I've got 9 pi by 6. So pi radians is 180. So this is pi by 2. This is 3 pi by 2. So 9 pi by 7 is more than pi, but not as much as 3 pi by 2. So it's going to be over here somewhere. So this angle here must be uh, 2 pi by 7. And the reason for that, if, if this angle round here is 9 pi by 7, um, then this is going to be uh, 2 pi by 7 after 7 pi by 7, which is just pi. So I can write this as tan of 2 pi by 7. And it is positive in that quadrant, so that's fine. And then sine of 11 pi by 4 so uh, 8 pi by 4 would be a complete revolution um, 12 pi by 4 would then be a revolution and a half so this is not quite a revolution and a half so it's going to be over this way some way but it's actually representing all the way round and back again and that's 11 pi by 4 which makes this angle here pi by 4 
So sine 11 pi by 4 is equivalent to sine of pi by 4. And in this quadrant, sine is positive, and so this is positive.